Hi, this is Mansi here and I'm going to take you through a very quick, easy uh, earrings, snowflake earrings as I call them. This is very quick, easy to do project and almost anybody with even no experience can do these earrings. If you remember my DT kit, you remember I got these beautiful pearls uh, from A1 Craft and I'm going to be using these. Uh, so I so these pearls come in different sizes and different colors so you can actually use uh, and make a lot of uh, earrings out of this one uh, particular uh, pack currently I'm using the small the absolutely small beads in the color of brown okay uh, what you're going to need for this uh, tutorial is uh, seed beads uh, seed beads I have taken uh, a golden color the color number is 18084 okay I have taken pearls for a single, uh, you know, if you, if you look at these earrings, for a single one, you require around about uh, 12 pearls. If you are doing a, a big one, you will re require around about 24 of these. So, you know, you can actually uh, make a, a lot of, uh, you know, just earrings for gifting, you know, for giving it to your friends and all. And these are super light. They're super beautiful and they're super easy to do okay so i'm going to be using pearls seed beads i'm also going to be taking ear hooks ear, um, ear components along with that what you're going to require is one pair of scissors for uh, cutting your uh, beading thread and a round uh, nose plier so you need to take around about uh, 12 inches of a beading thread you know and you need to put a soft soft bead at the end Okay, I put a summer bead already over here, so it's ready to go. Okay, so it's basically got three simple steps. The first step is you need to take all the six pearls. Now for one earring, you're going to be using six pearls. So you're going to be taking six pearls and stringing them onto your thread. Okay, that's four. Okay, there's something. Okay, four and a five and a six okay so these are my six pearls okay let me just get this aside these are my six pearls i'm going to get them down to the bottom of the thread right? i'm going to take my needle and go through all the pearls from one onwards what this is going to do is this is going to uh, you know create a circle yeah so this is going to create a circle and I'm going to pull it tight. Okay. I'm going to pull it tight. And that's how a circle is formed. Now, at this point of time, you would need to reinforce the uh, circle once again. Okay. Because this is your base foundation. So, I would rec recommend that, you know, you go through the... Uh, the pearls once again so it kind of becomes strong sturdy and you need to come out of the first pearl that you started off with okay I can't seem to be able to go through it wait yeah so my first circle is complete now I would be taking one seed bead and putting it between each of these pearls. So I'm coming out of a pearl. I take a one. I take one seed bead. If you can see one seed bead, I go through the next pearl. I pick up the next seed bead and I go through the next pearl. So we have six pearls. We will be putting six seed beads between each of the pearls. Please ensure that the pearls, the seed beads that you are using and picking up are uniform. It should not be too thin or at times you would find a couple of pieces of beads which may not be very very uniform. Most of these beads would be uniform because these are Czech glass seed beads and they are very high quality. But at times you may have a piece or two you know which may not be the most perfect piece. So keep an eye out because it's going to be visible in these earrings you know the yeah so i'm keeping the tail below so that you're able to see so now i have managed to put 
Okay, let me come back. So I managed to put one seed bead around each of the pearls. Now, at this stage, I'm coming out of a pearl. I don't want to come out of a pearl. I need to come out of through a seed bead. So I go through the seed bead. So I'm coming out of a seed bead. Let me just. And I need to create this snowflakey effect. So I pick up three seed beads. Okay. There we go. I picked up three seed beads. Now, I'm coming out of the top of this seed bead. I need to go below the seed bead and the pearl and the next seed bead. And if you're not able to pull, you can use your plier. Gently pull it. And what you will see is a small little pico is developed here. Yeah. Now this is something that you need to do to all of the six seed beads that we have added. So we just go, we repeat that. We go through the seed bead from below. The thread is coming out from the top, below the pearl and the seed bead. If you're not able to go through all of them, that's okay. You can just go through the seed bead and then separately go through the uh, pearl and the next seed bead. That also works fine. So because I've kind of got used to doing this pattern, so I find it easy taking it out through all the beads at the same time. Okay, now I've done three. I need three more picots to be done. So I pick up three. Go through the next. At times, I find, you know, using the plier a little more convenient, especially, you know, if you're, you know, you feel that the the thread is a little slippery or the holes, you know, the needle doesn't seem to be going through very smoothly. So it's okay. You can always use a plier. But please be careful when you're using a plier. You shouldn't, you know, twist the needle too much or this much because otherwise your needle will break or your bead may break. Okay, so I'm on the last I'm on the last pearl now, so I'm I've come coming out from the seed bead. I pick up three seed beads, and in this circle, I do not go through the pearl. I only go through the seed bead because I've already completed the next circle over here. So I just take out from the seed bead, and my component is ready. Now, I usually like to have a little bit of a, you know, a loop to hang my uh, earring, you know, earring wire, earring hook. So I would create that now. So I'm coming out of the bottom of the seed bead, the bottom seed bead over here. I will come to the top seed bead, this, this one, the one which is lying on top. So... You can do what I do. I usually prefer flipping it so that I have everything in one direction. Going to the side one and the top one. Okay. So in this case, I'm coming out of the top. Now, I want to create a loop of five. I already have the base bead. So I need to pick up additional four beads. and go through the seed bead again. So this kind of gives a loop. At this point of time, because my earring component is going to be, the earring hook is going to be three, I would recommend that you go through this loop that we have created a couple of times with your thread because it will give strength to this loop. So That's number two. I've gone to the second time and very quickly I will go through the third time. Now at this point you can take the needle back towards the base ring of the pearls and once you reach the base ring of the pearls what you need to do is you need to fasten off your you need to fasten off your threads. So you have a, a tail that you started off with. You need to 
you know, tie it up inside and just tuck it inside. And you have the thread that you were working with. You need to tie that up. I have already finished that and I've got this component ready. Okay, so this is how your final piece is going to look like. And now what do you need to do? You just need to take an earring hook, take a nose plier, open up the hook a little, okay, very gently insert in your earring component and tighten the hook and your earring is good to go. It's that simple. So I do hope that you give this earring a try. You can do a double one, you can do a triple one. I haven't tried the triple one as yet, but I'm sure it's going to look gorgeous. Okay, so it's very, very simple. I would recommend that all of you all, you know, pick up the supplies from A1 Craft. They have everything. They have the pearls. They also have the earring components. They have the seed beads. They also have the beading a thread as well as the needles. So you don't have to go anywhere and everywhere and hunt for material. Everything is available at A1 Craft. Just hop onto their Facebook page, order in and start creating. And these are beautiful gifts that you can gift to your friends, to your family members. And they're super easy to make. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you soon. Thank you.